Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope we're all having a great day today and we're all doing well. So in this video, I wanted to talk about five guns on defense, which I think have actually had a pretty significant buff when the new scopes were added into the game. Now, these are guns before the release of Operation Shadow Legacy that didn't have any scopes. All they had were the one times, holographics, reflex, or red dot. And um, they were maybe a bit lackluster and weren't really used, and sometimes even holding an operator back. And you know, uh, when Operation Shadow Legacy was released, we have like the whole new scope system now, where we have 1.5, 2 times, 2.5, 3 times scopes and everything. This brand new scope system, which in my opinion is working extremely well, and I'm so glad that this has happened. And uh, yeah, I just want to highlight a few guns, um, mainly on defense, that have actually had a significant improvement because of this. And like I said, these are guns that you've maybe never really used before. Because that operator already has a great weapon that other people are just picking over it. But with these new sights, I feel like that's kind of flipped a lot of stuff in the head and it's made a lot more weapons viable. So I'm just going to show 5 guns on defense, uh, which I think have became much more viable since the new 1.5x scope has been added to them. So the first gun I'd say that has actually became a lot better since this 1.5 time scope has been added to it is the FMG9. Now this has made Nook a better attacker in my opinion because obviously she has now the 1.5 time magnification which a lot more people are more comfortable with using on attack rather than just using being limited to one time scopes. Obviously uh, she was still good with one time scopes. The FMG9 got a buff not too long ago, actually it might be a, a wee while ago at this point, and the gun has actually been pretty good. Uh, obviously Nook still has her downsides, but the weapon wasn't really the problem anymore, and it's been actually a pretty good weapon for a short while now. Now with Operation Shadow Legacy, the FMG9 has the 1.5x scope on it, which is great for Nook, like I said, but Smoke actually has the 1.5x scope on his FMG9 as well. and. Personally, I'd say probably still the biggest play here is Smoke and the SMG secondary. I wouldn't really say that the FMG9 is going to replace that loadout. Uh, I still think that's a solid loadout. But for now, I think even if you're not comfortable with shotguns and, you know, you still want to use Smoke, you still want to be helpful for your team and use Smoke and you're not really, you know, you're not very good at using that shotgun and you don't really want to use it, Give the FMG9 a try, it is not a bad SMG in any way, shape or form. We've now got the 1.5x scope on it, and it's actually a pretty great SMG. I actually was using it in a ranked game the other day, and I was doing fairly well with it. Um, obviously, like I said, I still think that the shotgun and SMG duo is probably the better loadout you can bring for smoke, but if you're, like I said, if you're struggling with shotgun, give this a try, and even if you are good with shotgun, I recommend trying this as well, because it's actually a pretty great weapon on defense, which I was not really expecting, and I was actually very impressed by it. Now, I would say, once again, that probably it wouldn't replace the whole shotgun and SMG secondary uh, loadout, purely because that just brings more to the table, I'd say, with a shotgun having a soft breach destruction. And I'm actually going to move on to my second gun, which I feel has had a buff in this, and kind of keep that whole shotgun and SMG mindset as well, because I'm going to be talking about the MP5K, which is also the gun that Mute has, and he also has the same loadout as uh, Smoke with the shotgun and the secondary SMG. So I feel like Mute as well, with his MPK, uh, MP5K, sorry, that also has 1.5 times on it, and so does Womai's. And personally, uh, talking about Womai here, I've always thought the MP5K was better than the Ogon Womai, and uh, I really like it now even more now that it's got this 1.5 times scope on it. I think it's great for both Mute and Womai. Um, like I said, same with Smoke. I'd probably still keep the shotgun and secondary SMG loadout, but once again, if you're not comfortable with using shotguns, the MP5K is pretty viable as well. I've been using it uh, on in ranked matches as well, even on Mute. I, I like using the shotgun on Mute, but I was changing it up a bit. I was using this MP5K. I was getting frags with it. I was holding my weight with it. It's actually a pretty good weapon even without the 1.5 time scope, but with this 1.5 time scope, it's just better in general in my opinion, and that's the same with Wamai. Uh, I've actually played Wamai a lot this season, and that's purely because I like the 1.5 time scope on his MP5K, and I actually am really enjoying this weapon, and I, I recommend using it. If you want to play Mute more, if you want to play Wamai more, equip the MP5K and put a 1.5 time scope on it and see how it works for you. Okay, moving on, we have the OG A3, which is Kate's OG, and personally, I think this is probably going to have one of the biggest impacts with this gun change. Uh, Kate has had the OG A3 and the TCSG. Uh, the TCSG actually had a COG, and um, obviously, it's it's still got a scope now on it, but it's a single slug shot shotgun, and 
it's been a great weapon. Uh, they've nerfed it. It's still pretty good right now. But I do, I am aware that there's people who just do not like using this weapon because uh, now, rather than before, it does take more skill to control than it did at one point. And uh, it's still a great weapon. It's still usable. But I know a lot of people would rather use the AUG on Cade. And that's one of the driving factors. Uh, on paper, Cade is better than Bandit in every form of his um, of his gadget. It was where Bandit's um, loadout came out, which makes Bandit be more popular in a lot of cases. And with this AUG change, with the AUG getting the 1.5 times scope on Cade, I can see a lot more people using the AUG A3 now and picking Cade in general because um, they're not limited to using the TCSG. Uh, the AUG A3 was pretty good before, but it wasn't the preferred SMG to use. A lot of people would have said, nah, I'd just rather play Bandit purely because I can kind of do the same job. But he's got the MP7, which is a much better weapon than the AUG A3. And I'm not saying that the AUG A3 is now better than the MP7. Uh, the MP7 on a whole is still a better weapon. But with the AUG A3, this scope, it, the 1.5 times scope, is just making it so much more valuable. I'm feeling, I'm feeling much more comfortable using the AUG A3 myself. And I really recommend using this if you want to improve. Uh, bring a Cade if you ever want to play Cade more. Uh, it will definitely, it's definitely going to higher its pick rate. This whole scope system, I cannot wait to see what the next operator graphs are going to look like. They're going to be so much different than before, I can guarantee it. And these, these new scopes and scope changes are going to have a big, big impact on the whole operator balancing and everything like that. So yeah, if you're wanting to play Cade more and you're wanting to try them out, I highly, highly recommend using this AUG A3 with the 1.5 times scope. Okay, now moving on, I want to talk about the P10 Roni for Mozzie. Now, the P10 Roni has actually always been a really good weapon, in my opinion. Most people regard it actually better than Mozzie's Commando. Um, I'm kind of split. I actually really love both of the weapons. Neither of them have ever been bad in my case. But the Roni actually has a 1.5 times scope where the Commando doesn't right now. And the, uh, the Roni is a really good weapon. It's only got a mag of 20 bullets, so keep that in mind. But with angled grip and this 1.5 times scope, you can do a lot of damage with it. And this is once again reinstating my point. If you're not comfortable with using certain weapons and you do like the little magnification, and maybe you've used the commando more than the Roni, give this a try. With give all these weapons a try. I've been talking about this 1.5 times scope change and all these scopes added into the game have made a lot of weapons more significantly better. I'm not saying it's making the other weapons obsolete, obviously, but it's making a lot of weapons more viable and you know a lot greater. Like. I wouldn't have used the FMG on smoke before, and now I'm actually considering it for certain uh, locations. Uh, with a P10 Roni as well, I I've always liked the Roni, and this 1.5 times scope is just it's just a nice little addition for it. And you know, it kind of splits up the thing between the Commando and the Roni. You can bring the Commando because it's got a greater magazine, but you can also bring the Roni because it does pack a punch and it's also got a 1.5 times scope. So keep that in mind. Just know that Mozzie actually does have the P10 Roni 1.5 times scope, and bringing a Mozzie is contributing a lot to the team uh, he is one of the greatest defense operators that there actually is and uh, i highly recommend him okay finally the gun that i want to talk about is actually the ump for castle and he has the 1.5 times on this and if you if you're new to my channel um you may not be aware that I love Castle as an operator. I think his gadget's highly underutilized and he can be used in so many great strats. I think his UMP is pretty decent and now the 1.5 times scope is a lot better than it used to be. He's got the super shorty secondary shotgun, which Mozzie used to have, which is extremely good for taking gunfights at close range and mainly for making rotates, line of sights and stuff like that. That's what it's mainly used for. And he's also got a bulletproof camera. Now that loadout I just told you there is one of the best on defense. He's got a gun with a 1.5 time scope, which doesn't have really any hard recoil to control. The secondary shotgun, like I said, the super shorty is absolutely incredible for making rotates, lines of sights and even taking close encounter gunfights. And obviously with the bulletproof camera, if you guys have seen any of my other videos where I talk about castle, I like to incorporate the bulletproof cameras with hallways that I've castled off. So I know if anyone's pushing that way and I can really get a lot of intel on them. As well now, we've got the ping 2.0 system, which is pretty strong to be honest, and a bit too strong in some situations. And just that mixed with the bulletproof camera where um, they either have to use a bit of utility or they have to put themselves in harm's way to destroy it. Castle is just so good and you know everyone keeps saying he needs a rework 
just use Castle, use his 1.5 times scope on him, use the Super Shorty, uh, use obviously his UMP, and use his um, Bulletproof Camera. Uh, I've made some other videos about Castle as well, and you just really need to use him in a structured team, and he is so powerful, and I cannot like I cannot say that enough how powerful Castle actually is. Y y a lot of people just don't give him credit because they don't know how to play him, and you know, we can say that about any operator. If you don't know how to play Thermite, and you know, Thermite's a great operator, but if a lot of people don't know how to use Thermite, does that mean he's bad, or does that just mean people don't know how to use him? Castle is a great operator, and I really, really hope that this 1.5 times scope addition to him makes people learn how to use him more and are pushed more inclined to use him. And those are five weapons on defense in Operation Shadow Legacy, which I feel have had a major imp improvement purely because of the addition of the 1.5 times scope. Um, yeah, that's actually really it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you have used these weapons since the update. Uh, definitely go try all of these weapons. I highly recommend all of them. Uh, if you're not comfortable with the primary weapon or you just want to try something new, these are all insanely great weapons and I cannot recommend it enough. Obviously, these aren't all the weapons on defense that have a 1.5 times scope. Uh, Mira, for example, she has a 1.5 times scope on her vector, but I didn't really think that was necessary to include in this video because I don't really think that's changed much about her uh, as much as these scopes have to these certain operators. But yeah, that's all I really want to talk about in this video. Please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about all these changes and what I've talked about in this video. Uh, maybe you disagree with me on stuff like that and do let me know your thoughts and I'd like to have a discussion about that as well. If you did enjoy, be sure to drop a like, dislike it if you didn't, and I shall see you all in the next video. Thank you all for watching.